over on our community channel, we posted out a poll, and that was between do you want to see either Blackout 2.0 or do you want to see Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer? And you guys picked Blackout 2.0. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to look back at the mid-season update. This is the one that comes like smack right in the middle of the season. And it basically gives you a fresh look of what is coming for this second half of the season of the current season. And what that one actually was, it was the 80s Action Hero event. And basically they dropped a load of stuff in. But within that they actually dropped something which is specifically designed to basically please the Blackout community. Because obviously, ever since Blackout came out, it wasn't free to play. And basically, you could only play it during the game's duration by yourself and not even with crossplay either. So that was kind of a flaw to the Blackout kind of world. That isn't what something that we wanted to see. Obviously, we wanted to see Blackout progress. Blackout was fantastic. And basically it just died and it's just it's just rotten now. It's a rusting piece of something that could have been something. So this obviously they dropped this mid-season update. And inside the mid-season update, they actually paid homage towards the blackout community. And they've actually dropped something called the multi-team elimination. And that is actually a fire team mode. And it's actually for Black Ops Cold War. And honestly, it is worth checking out to a degree so obviously if you played a blackout and you loved how that game plays it kind of plays the same it looks the same with well if you think back at the autumn update that we had for blackout it looks exactly like that and the loot boxes are the same and basically how you pick up your heal is all the same and honestly it is worth checking out it is basically Treyarch have kind of dubbed it as something new which it, it kind of is to Black Ops Cold War but it isn't new because we've seen Blackout before so this is actually a 40 player fire team playlist just think of it like this it's a 40 player quads game of Warzone or quads game of Blackout that is what we're seeing and you can play it on a range of maps such as Alpine, Duca, Glover, Ruka and Sanatorium and obviously over time they will be adding more maps to this. So for my overall opinion on this Blackout 2.0 is okay for your first game. Honestly I can't see anybody playing this for two, three, four or even five games in a row. It just doesn't have that same feeling as what Blackout did or what Warzone does have right now. And well, what happens is you drop in with an MP5. Honestly, they could be switching this up every time you drop in, or at every different game, they could be swapping the weapons. You drop in with that MP5, and basically, you scavenge for supply crates, you get a bunch of gear, you get a bunch of loot and stuff. Then, all of a sudden, you've died by the base MP5 because, for some strange reason, it is kind of overpowered and isn't really what blackout was all about but it's there it's in the game it's worth trying out honestly don't take my opinion as the final answer for this blackout 2.0 make sure you drop into game and check it out for yourself then come back to this video and let me know your thoughts down in the comments section but i'm going to leave it right there make sure you check it out for yourself don't take my opinions as your own and we'll see you guys in the next video so thanks for watching guys and i'm out peace